In this lesson, we'll continue a review of Math Test 8, Section 3, no calculator questions 14 and 15, the last two problem solving questions. We know these are difficult problems at 16, 16 through 20 in Section 3, the grid ends, we know the difficulty of resets. All right, let's take a look at 14. How many solutions are to the system of equations above? So this type of an equation, when you're given two equations, look to set them equal. And so what I mean by that is here's a y, we can re-express this just for y and then set them equal. And so the second equation, we can express what we can do is we can add 5x to both sides and we can subtract 8 and so we get y equals 5x minus 8. And so now we have them both in terms of y and we just set these equal. All right, so I'm going to just copy it down here. We get 5x minus 8 equals x squared plus 3x minus 7. Just gonna scroll down here a little bit. All right, and so now, it's a little hard to read this. So let's just set this equal to zero and then we can see if we can factor, we can find the solution. So we're gonna keep it on this side and I'm gonna subtract 5x. And so I get x squared, get minus 2x. I'm gonna add eight and this is negative three. And so then I end up with, oh, it's not negative three. It's, I can't even read my own writing, it's negative seven, but I add eight, and so then I get plus one. Okay, now let's look to factor it to find the solutions. Well, we know the only factor of one is one, we want negative two, so we know it's x minus one, and it's x minus one, or it's just x minus one squared. And so how many solutions? Well here, it's just a single solution, right? Because they're both the same, the only solution is one, and the answer here is there is exactly one solution, C. All right, here we've got a function question. The functions g and h are defined above what is h of zero. So before we can find h of zero, you see how the function h contains g, we're gonna have to do g of zero. So we're just gonna plug in a zero here for x. So g of zero, whenever we see an x, we're gonna plug in a zero. We get zero minus one. So we know that g of zero is negative one. Now we can solve h of x. So h of zero equals one. We already just figured out that g of x equals negative one. So this is minus negative one, which is plus one. So we know that h of zero is two.